What are fractions? We use numbers to represent how much of something there is. For example, I can use the number three to describe how many pizzas I have. But what if I only have part of a pizza? I don't have one pizza, but I don't have zero pizzas either. I can use a fraction to represent the part of the whole pizza that I have. The pizza was cut into eight slices. But I only have three of them. Fractions have two parts, the numerator and the denominator. The denominator is the total number of pieces. So in this example, that's eight. I had eight total pieces of pizza. The numerator is the number of pieces I have or the number of pieces I'm considering or thinking about. In this example, that's three. I only had three pieces of pizza left. So I have three out of eight slices of a pizza or three eighths of a pizza. But what fraction of the pizza is missing? Once again, the pizza was cut into eight slices, so the denominator is still eight. And there are five slices missing. This time I'm considering the number of slices that are missing, which is five, and that's my numerator. So I can say that five out of eight slices are missing, or five eighths of the pizza is missing. For fractions to work, all of the pieces of the whole must be the same size. If I promise to give you one half of this cookie, the two halves must be equal. That is not equal. Let's try again. Now it's equal. I have one half and another half. Fractions name part of a whole, like the pizza, but they can also be used to name part of a set. Consider these donuts. If I was asked to find what fraction of the donuts is chocolate, I would first need to figure out how many total donuts I have. Remember, the denominator is the total number of donuts, and that's 12. Then, we need to think about the numerator, which would be the number of chocolate donuts. I have five chocolate donuts, so five out of 12, or five twelfths of these donuts are chocolate. What fraction of the donuts is vanilla? Well, my total number of donuts has not changed. I still have 12 donuts, so that is still my denominator. But this time, I'm considering the number of vanilla donuts, and there's just one vanilla donut. So I have one out of 12, or one twelfth, of these donuts are vanilla. Let's review. Fractions are used to name part of a whole or part of a set. Fractions have a denominator and a numerator. The denominator is the number on the bottom, and that's the total number of parts or pieces. The numerator goes on top, and that's the part you have or the part that you're considering or thinking about. The whole must be broken into equal parts in order for fractions to work. This is one whole chocolate bar. If I was going to break this into thirds, I would have to break it into three even pieces. These pieces are not even or equal in size. They're all different sizes, so this will not work. Let's try again. That's better. Now I have three equal sized pieces, and each of them represents one third of the whole chocolate bar. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.